Our Q&A comes in two parts this week. Here's part one of this week's pre-recorded Q&A. Welcome to this week's Q&A. This is the portion of our show where we put on a spotlight auto industry leaders and personalities to answer questions from our guest motoring journalists and those sent in to us by our viewers. Questions about the automobile and its presently rapidly developing industry. This week we have the privilege to have as distinguished guest a recognized veteran and icon of the Philippine automotive industry and currently the president of Eurobrand Distributor the exclusive importers of the world-renowned Peugeot automobiles. May I present Mr. Felix Mabilog. Welcome to our show, uh, Mr. Mabilog. Thank you, Butch. Our privilege, My pleasure sir, to here. be here. Our privilege, sir. And from the fourth estate, joining us this week, his first time actually in Q&A, is the associate editor of the much-read automobile magazine, Top Gear, Mr. Paolo Subiro. Paolo, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting us, Sir Butch. Okay, together with Paolo, to grill my good friend Felix, is the host producer of Auto Review, the motoring TV show that airs every Saturday on PDB4, and also a columnist of Malaya, a veteran motoring journalist, Mr. Ron De Los Reyes. Ron, thank you again for being here. Thank you, Butch, and uh, yes, uh, hello, Mr. Mabilog. Okay, so allow me to fire away on our Q&A. Uh, Felix, to begin with, yes. Peugeot is has been in the Philippines for just over a year. That's right. And, and you came in at a time when, uh, with all due respect, the brand had some difficulties because of uh, the past mishandling uh, some years back. And uh, everybody was saying that you were coming in at a time when you shouldn't be. <laughs> Tell us, how is Peugeot now after just barely a year of, of, of existence in the Philippines? Well, uh, everything considered, uh, what's it's doing great. It's, uh, I would say, uh, humility aside, uh, the reception of the buying public is uh, really uh, beyond expectations for us. Uh, as you said, uh, it has been handled before. I would not say mishandling, but I would say probably something went wrong before with the first distribut distributor. So um, we have some, we have our own apprehensions on whether it was timely for us to reintroduce the brand. But after considering everything, what the Pojo brand is like now, tremendous progress that it underwent during the last five years, I would say. Uh, we think that it's about time that we have this brand here in the Philippines. But, uh, fortunately for us, the first year that we has gone through, that has passed, was quite a revelation to us on the nature and quality of unsophisticatedness, how do you say that, of the Filipino buying public. Because in spite of the negative perception of many people before, because of what happened in the past, people still gave us a very, very warm welcome, so to speak. Mr. Mavilog, sir. Um Big news is the recent arrival of Volkswagen in the Philippines. And we all know that Volkswagen and Peugeot somewhat share the same branding and want to occupy the same space. So how do you, um, how do, how do you plan to handle the competition? Well, we, do, we don't look at them really as a... Not because we, we, we don't want to consider them, consider them a worthy competition. But we think that the, the market is still big enough for, for, for both of us. And, even for all players in the industry right now. Remember, uh, Paolo, we are just selling a little more than 200,000 uh, last year. We sold two, more than, a little more than 200,000 last year. And what are our Asian neighbors uh, are selling right now? Thailand is more than 1 million. Yes. Indonesia is more than 1 million. Malaysia is uh, more than 700,000. And the Philippines, who started the automotive industry in the ASEAN region is just selling 200 plus thousand. So there's a big room for improvement and we need good players, we need good brands to pick up the market. So we welcome the, the arrival of Volkswagen, you know, the more competition you have, the better you become. That is our uh, thinking on the matter. That's really <laughs> interesting, Mr. Mabilog. Yes. Now, uh, I think you foresaw the coming or the return of Volkswagen. That's why you were in a hurry to 
add uh, more and more dealerships for Pujoa. Like uh, just over a year ago when you started and now you have 10 dealerships yeah. and uh, it looks like uh, there is really a uh, good patronage for the brand and uh, how is the brand accepted in other parts of the country? We put up the, the number of dealerships that we have now. We have now a total of 10 actually. Uh, the reason why we put it up is not because we anticipated the coming of Volkswagen. At that time when we started for Joe, there was just a rumor that probably Volkswagen may come in. But actually, we put up the, uh, the dealership network is because that's the only way for you to be able to serve your customers. We cannot say that with you now, as we are, being handled by EDI will be different from the other Pujo or other distributor that handled it before. Unless we, ca we come up with re reliable and efficient uh, dealer organization, dealer network in the Philippines that can easily and efficiently service all the vehicles that we are going to sell. And you know, for people to know that we have now 10 dealerships all over the country that we put up in less than uh, a year. Yes. And we're planning to put up an additional five before the end of the year. You know, it's an assurance to the buying public that Pojo now, this Pojo that we are handling now is here to, say, to stay. And we are here to serve the Philippine uh, customers or consumers. And uh, we are going to do our best and compete with the other brands as far as customer satisfaction is concerned. Felix, we were analyzing your marketing trust in the Philippines and we noticed that despite the fact that there are a lot of things that you can brag about as far as the Peugeot brand is concerned. There's the European design and styling, there's its, its uh, longevity, uh, its, its brand longevity uh, and experience. Yes. But you are somehow, we notice, and correct me if I'm wrong, you are somehow projecting the, uh, the technical expertise of the brand. Can you explain this to us? Well, probably I can explain it by giving you a background on the Pujo brand, uh, Butch. I think not so many uh, know that Pujo is more than a hundred year old brand. And the Pujo business itself, the manufacturing business of Pujo started more than 200 years ago in France. The only they were making industrial equipment, parts, before, and 100 years before, they, they, they went into automotive manufacturing. That's 100 years of experience in automotive manufacturing. And right now, I think also nobody knows so much about this, that Pujo is the largest producer of diesel engines in the world. And because of that, they have perfected the art of making diesel engines. Probably the reason why they are this second largest selling brand in Europe. And not only in Europe, but in other uh, parts of the world, like Latin America, Middle East, and even Russia. That just shows the, the quality, the, the image of the Peugeot brand in the world. Okay, we, we shall have more about uh, the Peugeot, more questions from our guest motor and journalist, and more from my good friend, the Philippine automotive guru, in just a short while after this uh, very short break. <laughs>